Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have another products I bought in April video. Um, so if you guys haven't seen what this video is about, I will link down my previous video which was products I bought in March. I said February but I meant March. Um, yeah, so products I bought in March will be linked down below and all this video is really is instead of doing kind of like lots of haul videos because haul videos are my favourite. Um, but instead of doing um, just like different kind of random haul videos, I've decided to do um, products I bought in a particular month. So yeah, so today's video is products I bought in April, <laughs> March, May, April. Products I bought in April. So confused. Anyway, let's just jump into the video. So first off, I really wanted to get my hands on some Manuka Doctor, so I did. Um, I got the Manuka Doctor Purifying Facial Peel, and I got the Manuka Doctor Purifying Facial Scrub. I really wanted to try out some of this stuff, because of this brand, because I've heard it's very, very good. Um, I have a terrible acne, as probably many of you know, if you've ever seen one of my makeup tutorials, I have a terrible acne. So I've been trying like so many different things to try and get rid of it. So anyway, I've been trying these two out. Um, I'm really liking the, the facial scrub. Um, I use it probably like maybe once a day or every second day. I try not to use it too much. That it just feels so good and I really really like it. The only thing I don't like about it, I'm pretty sure it's got microbeads in it, like the little plasticky beads, which apparently are really really bad for the environment. So I'm not very impressed with that. But yeah, and then the facial facial peel, I absolutely love this. It's just so cool. Like you put it on, it's a very very thick consistency, um, but you put it on all over your face, and then after like 10 20 minutes, um, it like sets. And you can actually like physically peel it off in like a like a mask, and it's really really cool. It's really fun as well. But I also do like that. Um, I love the way it makes my skin feel afterwards. So next up, I got some new dry shampoo. I really needed some. I was like running out, and I had it was like a pink bottle, and I think it was like I don't know like L'Oreal or I don't know whatever it was. It was terrible dry shampoo. Um, I've used Batiste before, and I really like Batiste. So um, I got a big big size of that. And I just got the original one because I'm not a big fan on like strong scent. Talking about scents, um, for my mine and my boyfriend's third year anniversary he got me some perfume. I totally picked it up. But um, it's the Couture La La Juicy Couture. I've always wanted a Juicy Couture perfume. One of my old workmates had one and I used to like love it every time I like was near her. Like just like smell her a <laughs> bit. I'm not creepy at all but totally normal. But yeah, so I got that and um, yeah, I'm really stoked with that. And it was like on sale as well, so. Now the next two things I got, um, I'm just so excited about. I got two palettes from BH Cosmetics. I got um, the Kali Bible um, palette, which if you don't know, she is another YouTuber here on YouTube. Like, big massive YouTuber. It was like, I don't know, 4 million subscribers. But this is like a really beautiful palette. Um, that shade there is like really really beautiful um, highlighter and these palettes are super true but yeah these palettes are super affordable I'm pretty sure this was like $14 American dollars when I got it so that's really awesome I also got the Shanixo palette and as you guys know that Shano, Shanixo is another New Zealand YouTuber super famous and super beautiful and, well, and she came out with a palette with BH Cosmetics um, and it's got nine eyeshadows and then it's got nine lip shades and this makeup look I'm wearing right now is me using the Shane XO palette. I will link the video down below because it should be already up. Um, but yeah, it is an amazing palette. I'm absolutely in love. And I'm pretty sure the two palettes together, though, I think this one was 14, I think this was 14.50. And then plus with shipping, I think it was about like 55 New Zealand dollars, which I feel like was to divide that like 25 bucks each. Is bloody cheap and for two really good quality palettes absolutely in love and then also I really wanted to get some more lashes particularly for this um, tutorial I did before I wanted to get some um, XO Beauty lashes sorry they're upside down in the box but these are just the dramatic set I've had these before I loved them and I just kind of needed to get some more because these lashes are just so beautiful and yeah I also um, got some new face wipes. I love these face wipes. They're so good. They're just 
I don't know, I've tried so many different brands of facelifts and they're all crap. I hate them, like, they're like, some are like really like, they drag your skin, but these ones are so nice. These are ones are simple, so these ones are like, and are really good. I try and not take my makeup up with um, makeup wipes just because, one, it's really expensive, and two, it's not the best way to get your makeup off, so it's like, I don't know. If I've got like heavy makeup on today, I might use one just to kind of get the bulk of it off and then I'll go back in with like uh, and maybe another f makeup remover and then wash my face and righty righty right. So that is all for like the cosmetic -y sides things that I got to do with makeup related and then I have three more things that have really nothing to do with makeup. So I picked up a jacket. I've been like needing a jacket because I kind of have like a cardigan which is really thin and then jerseys which are just you know jerseys and then my puffer jacket and I didn't really have anything in between like I could just throw on quickly because I don't really like wearing jerseys but so I just wanted to make like in between the cardigan and the puffer jacket and this is just like a really really nice jacket it's got a hood as well it's really nice and it's got some um, little cords here that you can like tighten up the inner part and then yeah, it's just really pretty. I had been looking at um, like khaki green jackets at some other shops but they were, I don't know, just cheap and nasty and lots of people had that kind of same style so I'm kind of glad I got that one. It was actually cheaper with the 40% off than those other jackets and it's like better quality and it's just really pretty and I'm really glad I got it. The next thing I got is the ring light which I can't really show you because my camera is attached to it at the moment. But as you can see, I have donuts in my eyes. Can you see them? Can you see them? Donuts! Donuts! <laughs> no, so this is just like a ring light. Um, I, I don't know the technical term. I think it's like a white fluorescent light. I don't know. But it's just better for filming. Um, I have really terrible lighting in our room. We've got like two small mirror, two small windows there. And like the sun like rises up over on that side. So it's like, it's always terrible lighting in here. So I kind of wanted to do something about getting good lighting, so I got my ring light and I'm really stoked with it. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on, like, if you've watched my videos, what you guys think about um, the ring light. So I think this video here should be my, like, third video with the ring light, so you guys should definitely know if you guys like it or if you guys have any tips on how I can help improve my lighting. That'd be great. So the third thing I got is a new phone. So I used to have the iPhone S5, it's completely dead at the moment. I need to charge it so I can get all my stuff off it. But um, I have now changed to Android and this is the Huawei S Mate. Um, I got this phone for I think it was like $740 and it came with like a free case and a free SD card, it's 64 gigabytes. And then the SD card they gave me was 64 gigabytes, so it's what's that like 128 or something? I can't do math. Um, and this was 16 gigs, so going from like uh, 16 gig to like 126 or whatever it is, it's a big step. But I have not used the SD card, so I just don't need it. But yeah, no, I absolutely love it. it has a fingerprint, so I can like put my fingerprint on the back, and it. Um, yeah, it works. And, oh, I'm so in love with it. I do can't stand the case. I've never liked cases like this just because it's so big compared to this one as well. So it's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a massive difference in size. And like, it feels so weird to hold this phone now. But, yeah, I'm really glad I got a new phone. This one was like putting up, had it for three years. So yes, new phone, new beginnings. And I can actually go through a whole day without my phone dying on me. So anyways, that is all I got, I think. Um, yeah, I didn't spend as much money as I did last month, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, if you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, or subscribe. And I shall see you guys next week. Bye!